Welcome to a very special edition of Designing Faces, Pet Faces. The show that's all about you and your space and how they relate to your pets. I'm Debbie Marie. When we say spaces for pets, we really mean it. As today, we are adopting a shelter, Big Dog Ranch Rescue, a no-kill shelter that sits on 28 acres of land in Wellington, Florida. And when designing spaces is involved, you know we're going to have all great things in store. We'll team up to give their food pantry a much-needed makeover. Plus, we'll help pet owners learn how to diagnose and treat pet allergies. We'll show you how to avoid over-vaccinating your pets. And we'll renovate and modernize their much-needed surgical room. Plus, we're going to follow some families who are leaving home with a new family member, just like this little one. So stay with us right here on Designing Spaces, Pet Spaces. Families looking to adopt a new pet, there are many questions about what to feed their dog. Just like their human counterparts, dogs have likes and dislikes and nutritional requirements that affect their health and happiness. Meet Dr. Greg Aldrich, an expert in pet food and nutrition from Kansas State University. He is here to help the Big Dog Ranch provide proper nutrition for all of their dogs. Dr. Greg, thank you so much for being here. Debbie, it's a pleasure. Thank you for the invitation. Now, there's so many different kinds of choices out there when it comes to dog food. So what do we look for? There are a wide variety of different foods available to the pet owner. Right. So a couple of things, if I can go to this package, okay. uh, you can see that right off the bat, they're telling this is this is for a puppy. And then if we turn over to the back, this is information in many cases uh, that all of the pet food companies put on their packaging. And uh, all of this uh, critical information is regulated by the state and federal agencies and there's a statement down here that's a nutritional adequacy statement that in essence says that the this They're food following. complies with the rules and regulations and it meets well over 40 different nutrients okay that are required by uh, state and federal rules in addition there's also this panel called the guaranteed analysis right. and this information gives us the breakdown of what the protein and the fat and the fiber are in this diet. Kind of like people food. That first one should be protein. Yeah, the magic ingredient. Yeah, right. right? Absolutely. <laughs> well, actually, uh, it can be protein, and, and generally protein is one of the more expensive elements, and okay. so we try to accentuate that towards the top of the label. Most of the ingredients in this label are going to be in this top half. About 90% are contained in this top half of this okay. ingredient panel. Below that, we're into the vitamins and minerals. Now, we've talked about dry food, and there's, there's wet food behind you. So how do we know which is best for our dog? Should we do a combo of both? Uh, it really depends on what's right for your family and your pet. Uh, just recognize that dogs really like the wet foods out of cans, uh, but they can be a little bit more challenged to use. Um, a lot of folks will use a canned food as a treat or a complement to the hmm. dry diet. Oh, I never thought of that. And then we take some of that amount of food away from the dry, otherwise we end up feeding them too much. Yeah, no, we don't want to do that. And we've got too many fat dogs out there right. today. And also on the bag I saw the serving size, so definitely follow that. Absolutely. So when we're looking at the pet, one of the rules I try to use is to go back to the back ribs, and if you can feel across the back ribs, the uh, ribs protruding just ever so slightly, then your dog is probably in the right the position. The ribs should feel like the back of your face. Ashley. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Dr. Greg, thank you so much for being here today. Lots of questions answered for all of our pet owners, so thank you so much. Thank you, Debbie. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, well, you can see all the food behind me. This was all donated by By Nature, and the team from By Nature is joining Meg and Lori in the front, so let's go meet up with them. Well, once we learned about all the wonderful things that Big Dog Ranch Rescue does for homeless and abandoned pets, we wanted to help. And so we're providing 5,000 pounds of food per month for the next year to feed all of the dogs in the rescue. That is incredible. So, Lori and Meg, what does that mean to you and to the Big Dog Ranch? Well, it's amazing for us to have good food to feed our dogs. It will save us $5,000 a month to be able to use elsewhere. Elsewhere, yeah, exactly, exactly to, to help, help the dogs. The dogs. 
What do you think, Meg? In addition to, you know, giving all the dog food for the entire shelter, they're also donating a specialty food of salmon and grain-free food for all of our skin dogs that we like oh. to take at Big Dog Ranch. That is wonderful. So it's really, really helping a lot. Here. Amazing. Aww. Huge. And you also have another surprise. So what, tell us about that. We are really excited to be following three special dogs from Big Dog Ranch into their forever home. And we'll be following them in their transition from pet to member of the family over the next 12 months. That's going to be fun to watch. I would love that. So where can our viewers learn more about By Nature? At www.bynaturepetfoods.com. Thank you so much, all of you, for being here. Really appreciate it. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. We're also going to have a link to their website on ours at designingspaces.tv. <laughs> We would like to extend a heartfelt thank you to all of our sponsors, partners, and volunteers who teamed up for today to make this possible here at Big Dog Ranch. Well, I'm going to stick around and help out and, I don't know, maybe take home a little one of my own or two or three. Oh, my goodness. Look at that face. Thanks for joining us here on Designing Spaces, Pet Spaces. We'll see you soon. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.